The car starts from rest and accelerates at 5 meter per second square. At t is equal to 40. At I'm sorry, it's at t is equal to 4 seconds. A ball is dropped out from a window by a person sitting in the car. What is the velocity and acceleration of the ball at t is equal to 6 seconds? So what's given here is, if we try to visualize this, a straight line, a road here, okay? And a car is moving. So this is at t is equal to 4 seconds. Move like this. Here, this is at t is equal to 6 seconds. Okay. Now, the car is starting from rest. So, we can say that u of car is equal to 0. And a of car is given to be 5 meter per second square. 5 meter per second square. Additionally, what's given is a stone is, a stone is dropped. Right? So, see, when the stone is dropped, when the stone is dropped, it is still inside the car, right? Which means, velocity of the stone, velocity of stone would be equal to the, would be equal to the velocity of the, velocity of the car. So, u of stone is equal to velocity of the car which is say let us say v of car okay at what time it has been dropped v of car at t is equal to 4 seconds so i hope this much point is clear in fact this is the only concept here oh well actually there's one more concept which comes with the projectile motion so the basic concept is that since the object is moving along since the car is moving the object when dropped from the car will have the same velocity of that as that of the car. Okay. Now, what we need to understand here is when the object is dropped, it will have the velocity of the car alone. But, so let us see. So this is how when the object is dropped. Now, as the car leaves and as the stone is on its own, it has a velocity which is offered by the car, yes, which is along the x direction. But the moment it leaves the car, what happens is it will be pulled down by acceleration due to gravity, which means there will be a component of vertical velocity as well. Which means though the car has moved to this direction, the object will now actually follow a projectile motion. Object will follow a projectile motion. Object will follow a projectile motion. And it is almost like this. The car would trace, the stone would trace its path. Which means at every instant, the car, the, the, the stone will now have, or the object will now have two components of velocities. One, ui. And the other would be ux. One would be ux and the other would be uy, right? So every point of time, the object will have two different velocities, one along the horizontal direction and the other along the vertical direction. Now, what are we discussing now? See, it means that velocity of the stone when being dropped or the initial velocity of stone will be equal to v of car at t is equal to 4 seconds. So, at this point, at this point, the object has a velocity ux, ux, which is v, v at t is equal to 4. v at t is equal to 4 of what? Of the car. Let us first find out that. So, for the car, we can say that v is equal to u plus at. So, v of car will be equal to u of car plus a of car into t at t is equal to 4 seconds. So, what is vc is equal to vc is equal to, since it starts from rest, uc is 0. Acceleration of the car is given to be 5, t is 4. So, velocity of car is 20 meter per second. Now, when the velocity of car is 20 meter per second, what does it mean? It means that 
the ball is dropped the ball is dropped with a velocity of 20 meter per second now at this point of time this 20 meter per second is acting along the positive x axis which means ux of the car sorry of the of the ball ux of the ball is equal to 20 meter per second right so now we'll discuss only about the only about the ball so for the ball for the ball we can say that there are two coordinates right one is the x coordinate and the, the other is the y coordinate because it has two components of velocity x component of velocity and y component of velocity so there will be both velocity along x component velocity along y component acceleration along x component acceleration along y component displacement along x component and displacement along y component so we'll write those first so what are the different velocities so we have initial velocity as ux Final velocity as Vx, initial acceleration along the component as Ag, and displacement as Sx. Corresponding for the ball in the y component, we have initial velocity in the y direction Uy, final velocity as Vy, acceleration along the component is Ay, and displacement is Sy. Okay. Now, if we write down the equations of motion for the x component alone, for the x component alone, what is V is equal to? u plus 80 for the y component alone what is v is equal to u plus 80 let us be more specific what is vx is equal to ux plus a into t what is vy is equal to uy into a into t now this complete component the complete x component is offered by whom this is offered basically by the by the moving car and this component the entire component of y is offered by which component this is offered by the gravity now since the car is moving with uniform acceleration what can we say about the value of ax ax will be equal to zero we just found out that the value of ux is equal to 20 meter per second so vx can be written as 20 meter per second plus acceleration along the x component is 0 so vx is equal to 20 meter per second so that is one finding that we have made what is the next one see the next one is that it is having a component due to gravity so ay here would be equal to g so we can write that vy is equal to uy plus what is a a is 10 10 into t now since since the vertical component here is equal to since the vertical component here is equal to zero why is it equal to zero because when the ob when the object was dropped from the car the car was moving along the positive x-axis alone it had only the x component since the car has only the x component the object dropped from the car will also have only the x component the object dropped along the car will have only the x component which means the y component of the object is equal to zero so uy is equal to zero which means vy is equal to 10 into t right so this is what we have these are the two values what we need so ux is equal to 20 and vy is equal to 20 a uh, vy is equal to 10t now what is the acceleration at t is equal to what is the velocity and acceleration of the ball at t is equal to 6 seconds has been asked so between t is equal to 4 to t is equal to 6 seconds what is the time difference it is t is equal to 2 seconds right mm -hmm. in which case we can say that vx is not dependent on t so vx is 20 but vy is dependent on t it is given to be 10t and the time is given to be 2 so this also becomes 20 now what is the net velocity the net velocity vy will be equal to root of vx square plus v y square therefore v will be equal to root of 20 square plus 20 square which is v is equal to root of 20 into root 2 
meter per second. So, this is the answer for velocity. Now, what happens with respect to acceleration? See, for the ball, acceleration also is along two components, which is x component and the y component. What is the acceleration along x component? It is ax. What is the acceleration along a y component? It is ay. What is the source of ax? It is the velocity of the car. What is the source of ay? It is the velocity of or it is the acceleration caused due to gravity. Now, since the car is moving with uniform acceleration, we can say that ax is equal to 0. And since the object is moving with acceleration equal to g is equal to 10 meter per second, we can say that ay is equal to 10 meter per second in which what is the net acceleration a is equal to root of ax square plus ay square which is equal to root of 0 square plus 10 square and therefore a is equal to 10 meter per second which gives us the correct option as 20 root 2 and 10 which is option d.